So let's look at a game from Lee Chess uh, today. So <clears throat> my opponent's 1880, and I'm with the white pieces, so I open with English. So goes nf6, and here I do nf3 to prevent uh, e5. So we'll just turn on the opening database and live book. So b6, kind of intending to go into a Queen's Indian, and at this point I'm intending to continue the English setup as long as I can without playing d4. And so I go into my usual fee and cattle line, b to b7. I do b to g2, and now e5. And so here, the book is letting us know that, that castle would have been the top line move, but I just evaluated, evaluated that if I got it into c3, I could pretty comfortably um deal with the push of, of e e4 by playing knight to to g5 but the database is pointing out that if we do castle now then our 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 bishop of course is protected by the king and his is not of course on b7 so anyway end is to c3 now he plays a move that i thought was quite uh <clears throat> slow so d6 i think if we go back and look i mean he could have done b to b4 that's a pretty standard move hitting this knight which is controlling the white scores in the center so let's take a look at what the engine's saying at this point so he misses b to b4 and this is like quite slow so as you can imagine the evaluation for me at this point is is quite good and so his play in the center is too slow so we go into castle so just continuing in development move. And now he plays an even more strange move in C6. And so obviously intending to develop a knight to, to D7. But I think here is just weakened his diagonal. So I seize on the opportunity because he has not played knight to D7 and because he's just shut down his bishop's access to the white squares, it seems right away that D4 would be right. And we can see that the engine is showing us uh, above a pawn in, in valuation. So d4 comes in, he decides to capture, and here I'm faced with a decision. Um, so I could just recapture with the knight, which of course was tempting, given that this knight would have trouble developing and c6 will be weak. But I decided to recapture with the queen, and we see here that the the engine actually preferred that it a knight capture here and i guess with the idea of targeting targeting uh, c6 and so and then it actually recommends that black go into a fianchetto type system and so that that's an interesting that's an interesting line but instead what happened was i made the decision to come in with the queen with the idea that we're developing another piece i thought it was relatively safe there it could drop back to d3 if there's anything like a a c5 push or potentially d5 with bishop to c5 and just the control that it gives over these central squares especially since he's kind of wrecked his pawn structure i thought was very appealing so decided to go with queen he plays a slow developing move move in in bishop to e7 preparing for castling of course and we're still ahead by a pawn according to the engine and now i have to make a decision about where my uh, bishop should go and there are a number of good options, but it seems like bishop to f4 would have been preferable. And I did think of this, and again, that would have had more control over the center. But sometimes we target the the f6 knight just because it has control over the white square. So a bit of a tough call, but in this case, the engine's pointing out that bishop to f4 would have been better controlling these dark squares in the middle. So that's a slight miss. Bishop to g5 just developing. So he goes for short castle, and now I just want to get my rooks into the center of the play. So this, um, <clears throat> both can um, come to, to d1 as an obvious choice, but it looks like at this point I made a slight inaccuracy and really should have backed up with rook a to d1, really backing up the queen on this file. And instead I wanted to... I was thinking about the idea of potentially pushing with e4, covering d5, and I decided to go with rf to e1. He finally develops his knight to, to d7 and b to d7. And here I just want to get my my other uh, rook onto the open file. So I just simply continue with ra to d1. Again, exclusively focusing on central control. So he plays h6. 
attacking my my bishop. And here, um, bishop to f4. Oh, e4. So it seems to be recommending e4. That can't be right. This is strange. I don't know why it's recommending. This is really quite strange. I don't know why it's recommending e4, showing black with a huge valuation. Anyway, it's a strange one. Um, so I come back to f4 with the idea of, again, controlling the central squares. And he goes with d5. So again, further blocking in his the control of his bishop. So at this point, uh, I could, it becomes, his pawn becomes a target on d5, and I could, of course, capture. And the machine seems to be saying that that's what I should have done. So let's look at that briefly. So d takes, and let's say c takes back. And I did look at this and say, okay, I'd be playing against an isolated pawn and and shutting down the, the control of his bishop. But he does have things like, with my queen in kind of a vulnerable spot, bishop to c5 was a little concerning. And then h4, I was looking at too, with the idea of coming back into here at uh, f, f5 with, with great control over the center. So instead, n to e5. And this was uh, somewhat misguided. I think I should have just captured on, on d5 looking back at this. So bishop comes in here, and he actually had the opportunity to play uh, bishop to c5, which is being pointed out here by the engine, but he misses that and does the pawn push instead, which does control the d4 square. But I just simply drop back to d d3, and now the evaluation is showing a huge advantage for me here. And so now he, he could play... Um, he could play g5 here, threatening my my bishop, and I would I would be forced to 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 take the knight. But uh, and actually, it was recommending knight takes d5. So this is very complex tactically. But he captures on e5, giving my bishop a free range. Now three and a half pawns at this point by the engine. So I recapture on e5, and it's queen to c8. And so I'm happy with my control in the center. And at this point, I, I wanted to retain the central control. And I had a couple good options, and but all involved the recapture on d5. I decided to go with the c takes, which the engine is saying that the, the, the knight here would have been better, I guess, with the idea of forcing him into a trade because of the, of the, the bishop that's now loose on e7, which I noticed after the queen shifted to c8. But I decided to to go with the pawn on the idea that that I could keep it and, and maybe get e4. e4 is now screaming here, and then we'd have like very strong central control. So into d7 coming back, which I thought was an okay move, I just simply draw back to b4, again, uh, again wanting to get out of the path of the e pawn, but but really retain control over these squares. And it also introduces d6 as a potential threat as well, maybe eventually or right away. So he plays g5, hitting the bishop. And so here I thought, with his king's side starting to really fracture, I thought the best would be to drop back to, to c1. So I do that, and the engine improves. Bishop to f6, so his bishop's now on a better diagonal. And here I went with e4. But uh, and it's and it's certainly not a bad move. But but the engine's actually recommending, and I was I was starting to think about f4 with the idea that, and it has that as a top line move. If we were to do f4 and on recapture, we would just simply develop to f4 and then let's say a random move to here and then just really push and then our center would be absolutely enormous and we'd be coming forward with e5. But I didn't do that and actually went for e4 right away. So still with a, with a huge advantage of about two and a half pawns, according to the engine evaluation. So he goes with n e5. That This was the downside. And this is, I think, why the engine liked f4, because it really wanted control over the e5 square. And this this was a miss on my part. Because this is brings the knight, his knight back into a game onto a good blockading square and also hits the, the queen with tempo. Now, I am intending at this point to follow up with, with f4. But I go back to e2, which 
engine sing is the best choice. And now he plays a C4 push. So I thought that was slightly disconnecting uh, his his pawns. I, I do have N to, to B5, but I really want to emphasize the control in the center. So I'd rather just leave my knight where it is, backing up these pawns. So at this point, I, I, I did obviously think about the the weak pawn on, and of course the, the bishop is hanging too on, on F6 and the pawn on H6. So queen to, queen to H5 uh, caught my attention during the game, but then I figured that the... The king would just come to one of these two squares on the seventh rank and and basically he would be covered and so even though it, it did seem like a good move but f4 seemed a lot more attractive and so with f4 and then he he uh comes right into d3 and at this point i decided to to sacrifice the exchange and, and my thinking here was that if you look at his rooks especially the one on e on e, on e8 and even on um, f8 they're out of the game so far, and they can get into the game, but I just thought speed and my central control with the pawns, e5 is obviously coming right away, that I thought it best to to actually um, sacrifice the exchange. And I was really torn here between this and e5, and, and the engine's actually pointing out that e5 might have been a better choice. If we were to do that, his bishop's really in trouble, and if we like recapture here... It's just simply rook takes on e1, then he's got a problem with the bishop. He's got to drop back to e to g7. And then we can get in the move that we wanted, which was which was queen to to h5 with with retaining a, a, a very big advantage. So we drop back and instead decide to capture on d3. So he recaptures, and I simply recapture with the queen. So here. We retain a huge lead, and I was happy to see this, but it's diminishing a little bit, and it's about 2.25 pawns. But I really like my center control here, and I was trying to exclusively focus on the center. e5 is screaming, and we want to do that next. So bishop to a6, he finds a decent move here, and I drop back to d2. And there were a couple choices, f3 I was thinking about as well, but then I thought, why not retain control over this uh, d4 d4 squared to prevent the check even though the king can i just evaluated could just go to h1 and it should be fine but i do queen to to d2 and <clears throat> g takes f4 and at this point uh this was i was kind of torn here and i thought of this during the game i really should have played e5 here and it's showing that that is uh that is absolutely the correct path. And and of all the moves, the, the choices, so I was thinking, obviously, G recaptures, which I thought was going towards the center. Queen is an obvious candidate as well. Directly hitting H6, really getting into the potential that we could check the king and really start to cause problems on the diagonal. But the, the engine's best choice is the one that I was thinking of but didn't do, which is E5. And it's just like direct problem for the bishop. So it goes back, gaining all the space, shutting down its control, um, dominant pawns in the center, and then just recapturing in the center with g5, with the idea that even if queen were to come into g4, we could just play something as simple as h3, according to this, or even queen to, to e3. So that was, a, that was a mess. So instead, I, I, I made somewhat of a mistake, even though I still retain a lead, and I played g takes f4, and I, I was concerned about the queen coming into to g4. And he plays king to h7, so he wants to guard that pawn on, on h6, of course. And here, e5 just seemed obvious. It's just, you've, we've got central control. This this pawn is safe. It's, it's, it's now, after this push, is guarded by three pieces. We will then also have d6 getting closer to the queening squares and putting pressure on his position with the tempo on the rook so i thought e5 was just obvious and it's the top line move so that was that was good and now he plays bishop to h4 and here here was an interesting play so <clears throat> this was a bit of a tactical mess um I started to think about the idea that that f5 could be played with the idea of completely shutting down this this queen entry into g4 or potentially even f5 and 
it's interesting with the rook being threatened that the the engines evaluating that f5 was actually correct because let's just look through let's say he gets material materially greedy um i would have assumed that the capture on h6 is right but actually what it's saying is that um queen to g no that's wrong again so yes of course queen takes h6 and uh it only has one legal move which is back here and now um we could simply play f6 uh, again just threatening the mate right away and even and there's no way out for the the king uh, whatsoever so it's made in five at this point so that was that was a bad that was a, another tactical miss where i should have ignored the threat on the rook and just immediately pushed f5 and instead i do b to e4 recognizing the open square gap and that this is where the game fell apart so f5 i had to find f5 shutting down the queen path immediately threatening h6 so this pure tactical miss here and instead i i i see the opportunity to check which i do but then he, he does king to h8, and I do find f5 here, but it's not quite as good as what I had before, because now what happens is that he can drop back with... Um, he actually, I was looking at queen to c5, which he should have played, and actually plays r to g8. So now the king is exposed, which, which I had seen, and then I just simply go to h1, but my advantage is diminished here. It's down to about just over a pawn. He plays bishop to g5. Um, I decided that queen to f2 was right. Um, we could have done queen to... I didn't think of this. This is interesting. Queen to d4 immediately threatening uh, check, which is quite interesting. So that was another mess. I should have done queen to d4. I didn't see that during the game, but again, just immediately targeting the king queen to f2 not a great file for it i'm not sure as i look back on this why i played this but it's still strong we still have an advantage of over two pawns but now queen to d8 gaining control over the bishop and here uh was another mistake so i was thinking about the central pawns and i really wanted to i always uh, i've been learning that this, this the middle one is is potentially weak so i thought to push that one but what i really should have recognized is that is that we needed to shut down this communication between the queen and the bishop so f6 was actually correct here and f6 would have been a massive lead it's the engine's now showing a lead of almost five pawns so i missed another opportunity here and instead played e6 with the idea of again He's behind in development. The A8 rook isn't doing anything. This bishop is not hitting any targets. So let's push our advantage. We're down in exchange. We have to move quickly. And he plays bishop to h4. And now again, I had the... Well, I did find a queen to d4. Again, with a lead of almost three pawns. So we do queen to d4. He drops back with bishop to f6. And here the game repeated. And... What I hadn't seen, and I'll just play this out, so it just repeats and it ends up in a draw. So I end up drawing a player who's rated 1880, which which was, which I was happy about, but I did feel during this game that I really should have won it. What the engine's pointing out is that I had, um, let's go back a few steps, sorry, that after queen to d4, bishop to f6, I actually had queen to d1 with a lead of almost six pawns. And so if you have, if you get in queen of d1, let's say his best move is f takes e, you know, we really have, I mean, obviously I can check and, and just simply, oh, I can't, sorry, I'm not on the line of the dark squared, uh, squares anymore, but we just simply play f takes e and this is, this pawn structure, especially with the queen and the rook lined up here is absolutely crushing. So missed some tactical chances, but overall happy that I drew an 1880 and, and happy with my play in the center. I think that gave him a lot of trouble and he was in major, major difficulty in this game. And I'm happy to see that the engine confirmed that I was up significant evaluation, really should have put the game away, but just missed some tactical chances at the end.